Hello children. How are you all? Hope you are fine and safe. I am Angeline teacher from St. Jude's Parish. I hope you have submitted the previous class activity to your catechism teacher. Children, today I will be telling you a story which you all can connect in your day-to-day -day life. This is Joe studying in Standard 5 just like you all. He was used to getting whatever he wanted from his poor parents by crying and putting up tantrums. If he wanted an ice cream or a new pencil or an expensive toy, he would first ask his parents. If they did not give it to him very often because they could not afford it, then he would become grumpy, cranky, angry, bad-tempered and impatient. The problem became grave when Joe wanted a TV set at home. He argued that his other school friends watched TV at home and he did not get a chance to do it. Initially, his neighbors used to allow him to watch TV, but now they had stopped that facility. His parents could in no way afford to buy a TV set. Joe's tantrums were getting unbearable for his parents who did not know what to do. There was no peace at home. Children, I want you to reflect on this story and write your answers to the questions in your notebook. What is Joe's idea of happiness? Make a list of things you put up tantrums at home to force your parents to give them to you. How and on what basis do you think your parents decide to give in or not to your tantrums. Do you think you would have been really happy if your parents had given in to all your wishes? Why or why not? Jesus wants to open our minds and hearts to the fact that we can be happy even if we are deprived of many things we desire, even if we have to suffer as a result. In our today's lesson, Jesus teaches us in the second Beatitude. Happy are those who mourn, for God will comfort them. We all know that sometime or the other, suffering comes into our lives. And then all our happiness appears to disappear. Jesus forewarns us about this and expects us to draw happiness 
and joy even from our suffering. In most cases, what happens is that we want to run away from suffering. And that is why suffering leads us to feeling sad. In the case of Joe, he too wanted to run away from the suffering of not being able to watch TV. That is why he was sad. But if he had learned to face it, he would have been happy even though he could not watch TV. Now let us look at another example through this video clipping. Doctor, is my son going to be okay? Um, I'm sorry to tell you this, Mr. Sarik, but after reviewing his results, your son has been diagnosed with acute renal failure. In other words, his kidneys, they're giving up on him. I can give him my kidney, yes. Unfortunately, you're not a good match. And he has less than 24 hours to find one. I'll do it. If you'll save my brother. No, honey, I can't let you do that. You're too young. But daddy, we don't have much time. Right? She is compatible and healthy. Are you sure you want to do this, sweetie? I'll do anything to save my brother. I guess it's okay. Daddy? Sweetie, you're up. Your brother is doing much better. That's good. Daddy, am I going to die now? No, honey. What makes you say that? I thought that I was giving my life for his. Oh, sweetie. You're both gonna live. And because of what you did, I'm gonna watch both of you grow up and have your little kids. And I will play with them. You're an angel for saving your brother. When you care about someone, you're willing to listen and understand their situation. But when you really love someone, you put yourself in the situation with them. It's not about listening to someone say their feet hurt. It's about walking a mile in their shoes. It's not about listening to someone say their back hurts. It's about carrying their load with them. And it's not about understanding the pain someone is going through. It's about putting yourself through that pain with them. That's because real love isn't about seeing with the eyes of another or listening through the ears of another. It's about feeling with the heart of another. So remember, the true measure of love is to love without measure. Children, how do you look at pain and suffering? Do you like it or are you afraid? If we call ourselves friends of Jesus, then Jesus is telling us, If anyone wants to come with me, he must forget self carry his cross and follow me. Jesus also suffered on our behalf by willingly dying on the cross so that we are redeemed from our sins. And through his resurrection, we can see a hope of love, compassion, peace and happiness that he has given to all of us. So my children, happy are those who mourn in their pain and suffering. 
for they shall be comforted by our Savior, Lord Jesus Christ. Children, we are going to listen to the word of God. So kindly close your eyes, sit upright, keep your palms open on your lap, take a deep breath in, and slowly breathe out. A reading from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 16, verses 21 to 25. From that time, Jesus began to show his disciples that he must go to Jerusalem and suffer many things from the elders and chief priests and scribes and be killed and on the third day be raised and peter took him and began to rebuke him saying god forbid lord this shall never happen to you but he turned and said to Peter, Get behind me, Satan. You are a hindrance to me, for you are not on the side of God, but of men. Then Jesus told his disciples, If any man would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me for whoever would save his life will lose it and whoever loses his life for my sake will find it the word of the lord thanks be to god children reflect on the word of god you have just heard now, imagine that if you were Peter and after hearing that Jesus is going to die and after three days raised to life, what would your reaction be? Would it be the same as Peter reacted in the word of God? We all hate to face pain and suffering in our lives, whether it is ourselves suffering or our loved ones. But Jesus through the word of God tells us that we have to face pain and suffering in order to be his true disciple. Because if we save ourselves, by running away from pain and suffering, we will lose it. But instead, if we lose our lives by suffering for the good of ourselves and others, we will be saved. Similarly, in the word of God, Peter cared for Jesus and did not want to lose him. But, Jesus had to die for the sake of our sins, so that we are saved. How often do we act like Peter, not wanting to accept suffering? Hence, today we look up to our Saviour Jesus Christ for the precious thing He has done for us, by giving his life and saving us from sin. Let us tell Jesus in our heart whether we will be willing to bear pain and suffering for him by singing this hymn. If you wish to be my disciple,
Okay, children, your spiritual task for this week is you need to draw a cross on a blank paper as shown in this image. In the middle of the cross, you need to mention the word Jesus Christ as you can see. This would indicate that you accept Jesus Christ as your Savior who suffered for you on the cross and saved you from sin. Above the cross, you will have to write the quote Jesus spoke in today's class. That is, if anyone wants to come to me, he must forget self, carry his cross and follow me. Finally, below the cross, you will write all the struggles that you are facing in your life and give Jesus the control of your problems instead of yourself. Once you give the control to Jesus and follow him, he will guide and comfort you. After completing the task, Kindly forward it to your catechism teacher. Thank you children. Bye.